Okay, continuing on from where we left off, um, the saying was hard in that it was difficult to accept. That was verse uh, 660. Um, you know, when Jesus talked about eating of his flesh and his blood, you know, and that only through him is eternal life, you know. Um, Iscariot means man of Kerioth, since Kerioth was in southern Judah, Judas Iscariot appears to have been the only non-Galilean disciple. And we are going to go into chapter 7 now. Um, and it's sad that so many people could not recognize that Jesus was God incarnate after all of the miracles and everything that Jesus did, you know. Um if you saw a man walking on water, if you saw a man turn water into wine and a man take a little bit of food and multiply it to feed thousands, you know, and to heal people and cast out demons, everything, you would know that person, you know, was God incarnate, Jesus. You know, Jesus is God incarnate. And it's a shame that so many people couldn't believe it. Okay, we're going to chapter 7. Uh, after these things, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus walked into Galilee, for he did not want to walk in Judah because the Jews sought to kill him. Uh, Jesus, Jesus was Jesus. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from there and go into Judah, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing, Jesus. For no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers did not believe in Jesus. They Jesus said to them, my time, they Jesus said to them, my time, sorry. Then Jesus said to them, Jesus said to them, my time has not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify it that it's the work that its works are evil. You go up to this feast. I am not yet going up to this feast, for my time has yet not yet fully come. When he had said these things to them, he remained in Galilee. But when his brothers had gone up, then he also went up to the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews saw him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much complaining about among the people concerning him. Some said he is good. Others said no. On the contrary, he deceives the people. However, no one spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the middle of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How does this man know letters, having never studied? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine but his father Jehovah who sent me. If anyone wills to do his will, father Jehovah's will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from father Jehovah or whether I speak on my own authority. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who seeks the glory of the one, uh, father Jehovah who sent him, sent Jesus, is true sent Jesus is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Um, you know, Father Jehovah sent Jesus, and everything that Jesus said and done uh, was all one in accord and in agreement uh, with Father Jehovah. Uh, Jesus is the image of Father Jehovah. You know, so there is no discord whatsoever between uh, Father Jehovah and Lord Jesus because they are both God, you know. Uh, you know, Jesus is God incarnate. So there you go. Jesus is God incarnate. Now let me keep on going. Did not Moses give you the law, yet none of you keeps the law? Why do you seek to kill me? The people answered and said, you have a demon who is seeking to kill you. Jesus answered and said to them, I did one work and you all marveled. Moses therefore gave you circumcision. That is not from Moses, but from the fathers. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, 
so that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are you angry with me because I made a man completely well on the Sabbath? Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Now some of them from Jerusalem said, Is this not he whom they seek to kill? But look, he speaks boldly, and they say nothing to him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is truly the Christ? Um, however, we know where this man is from. But when the Christ comes, no one knows where he is from. Then Jesus cried out, that Jesus cried out as he taught in the temple, You both know me, and you know where I am from. But I have not come of myself, but he, Father Jehovah, who sent me, is true, whom you do not know. But I know Father Jehovah, for I am from him, and he sent me. Therefore they sought to take him, but no one laid a hand on him, because his hour had not yet come. And many of the people believed in him and said, When the Christ comes, will he do more signs than these which this man has done? And the notations on all this. The Feast of the Tabernacles, which is celebrated at the end of September, the beginning of October, is a Thanksgiving festival to Father Jehovah. It also celebrates commemorates the divine guidance granted to Israel during the nations wandering in the wilderness uh, by Father Jehovah. Father Jehovah. During the festival, the people erect and dwell in temporary shelters made of palm and other branches. After the resurrection of Jesus, his brothers were among the believers, Acts 1 through 14. Letters do not Letters refer not to the basic ability of reading and writing, but to Jesus' knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Their puzzlement over Jesus' extraordinary knowledge without having studied at one of the prestigious and official rabbinic schools of Shammai and Hillel. Um, the teachings and claims of Jesus will be accepted by those who are intent on doing Father Jehovah's will. The one work refers to the healing of the cripple at the pool of Bethsaida, the only miracle Jesus had performed in Jerusalem. The people were puzzled because they knew facts about the background of Jesus, whereas they supposed the coming of the Messiah, uh, who is Jesus, God incarnate, to be shrouded in secrecy. Um, the dispersion refers to Jews scattered throughout the Greek world. Um, later, the term also denoted the Christians scattered abroad, 1 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. The Jews' ignorance was only heightened by their supposition that Jesus was surely not going to preach to the Jews, but to the Gentiles instead. Um, each day during the Feast of the Tabernacles, a joyous celebration was observed in which the priest brought water, symbolic of the water supplied from the rock from Father Jehovah in Exodus 17 to the people from the pool of Siloam in a golden pitcher. During the procession, the people recited Isaiah 12, 3, uh, the, Jesus, uh, the water was poured out on the altar as an offering to Father Jehovah. Father Jehovah, while the people shouted and sang. Jesus was the fulfillment of all of the ceremony typified. See 1 Corinthians 10.4. Those who are satisfied by Jesus will themselves become channels of spiritual refreshment for others. The figure of rivers contrasts with a fountain, illustrating the difference between one's new birth and one's experience over, of the overflowing of overflowing fillness of the Holy Spirit-filled life. John interprets the words of Jesus to refer to the pouring out of the Holy Spirit that was still to come. The Holy Spirit existed from all eternity, but was not yet present in the sense indicated. Soon the fullness of the Holy Spirit would be a blessing that all of Father Jehovah's people could experience. See Acts 2.33 and notes on Acts 2.4 and 1 Corinthians 12.13. And we're going to keep on reading. 
Therefore, many from the crowd, when they heard this, saying, said, um, Truly, this is the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ, uh, Jesus. But some said, Will the Christ come out of Galilee? Has not Scripture said that the Christ comes from the seed of David and from the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was division among the people because of Jesus. Now some of them wanted to take him, but no one laid hands on him. Now they knew Jesus being from Galilee, but they did not know that he was born in Bethlehem. You know, um, and of course, you know, to, uh, if you, I already did the genealogies before when I did uh, the Gospel of Matthew. So look at those videos for a more in-depth analysis on uh, the genealogy of Jesus. Okay, um, John seven forty-five. now. Then the officers came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, What have, have you not brought him? The, off the officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed in him? For this crowd does not know the law is accursed. But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said, Does our law judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. Um, you know, uh, in the notes, um, you know, and it, it's, it's so sad that so many people could not see the truth of Jesus. They were so stuck on their own power, their own fame, their own selfishness and greed, um, and so stuck on the law rather than, you know, seeing the truth that Jesus was God incarnate. Um, but we're going to stop right there uh, for this uh, moment in time. Um, but let me see. Um, we will do chapter eight tomorrow, which is going to be very interesting because it's Jesus saving the woman, um, from being stoned to death and everything. Um, and I thank you all for listening and, uh, hey, Jesus bless you all. Uh, hey, Jesus bless you all. And thank you, Jesus, for another day. Okay, bye, everybody.